Hi, my name is Dale Maley, and in this short video today, we're going to talk about a tip that I learned in LibreOffice on how to reduce the file size by compressing all the images that are in a file. Now, I'm an engineer, and I was trained in problem solving. The first step is to, find, to define the problem. So a few years ago, I was using Word 2003 for all my documents. But then I started writing books with several hundred pages and many images. And it turns out that Word 2003 quickly runs out of memory. Now back then I tried a newer version of Word. It's been several years ago. I had other issues, which I don't remember what they were now. But what I did, I discovered a free uh, software called Office Libra. And I uh, discovered that it handles book manuscripts fine that have many images. A few years ago, I started using Amazon to be my book uh, publisher or printer. And for printed books, you really want the highest resolution image you can find. And they say you should have at least 300 dots per inch if possible. So LibreOffice, uh, I'll go ahead in there, I write up my manuscript and I save it in uh, old Microsoft Word.doc format. But it will output a PDF file, and one of the options in there, it lets you reduce all the images to 300 dots per inch as a max resolution. So that saves a little file space, and for printing, you really don't need anything higher than 300 dots per inch. A typical book that I do, the PDF file size gets reduced down to about 30,000 kilobytes or 30 meg. And my upload time is okay to Amazon. I don't have the highest speed internet, but 30 meg will take a little while, but it will upload. Now you got the written book all done, and you want to do a Kindle ebook. Well, on, it's just the opposite on an ebook. You want to have um, lower resolution images, not high resolution. And my original manuscript file might be 720 meg. And it's impossible for me to upload a file that big to Amazon. So I really needed a way to get all the images down to 96 dots per inch or a much lower resolution. So one solution to my problem that I found was that I could use a compress feature that's built into Office Libra. Let's see how that works. So go into your Office Libra manuscript and on the first image on your file, click on that image. After you clicked on the image, then do a right click on the image and choose the compress option. Here's a screenshot that shows you uh, selecting the compress option. Now, here's what the compress option looks like. And you can see the settings that I have. Um, I chose uh, keep them in JPEG, but put them at 90% quality. And then over on the right resolution, I've checked reduce image resolution uh, down to 96. And you don't have to do it, but for an example, I clicked on calculate new size. And right above it, it says the original image is 7,568 kilobytes. This step is going to reduce it clear down to only 107 kilobytes. So basically, you right click. This box pops up if your settings are right all you do is click OK and the image size is reduced. So after you have your first image compressed just work your way through the rest of the file and then on each image click it, right click it, uh, choose uh, compress, hit OK and keep moving on till you do all the images. I do not know of a way in LibreOffice with one step to reduce the resolution of every image in the file. So it does take a little bit of time. Uh, a recent book I did had 75 images, so I had to do that operation 75 times. But boy, does it reduce the file size. Now, I made a flow chart, maybe to better explain my overall process. So starting in the upper left-hand corner, I create my book manuscript using LibreOffice. When I've, as I go along creating that, I save it as a um, old word format in dot .doc file format. And my last project, the uh, finished book manuscript was uh, 720,000 kilobytes or 720 meg. Pretty big file. 
I then used the export feature in Office Libra to create a PDF file where all the images were 300 dots per inch or less. And for that particular project, the uh, resultant PDF file was 28,411 kilobytes or 28 meg. Then I upload that PDF file to Amazon and use that to make the printed copy of the book. Now I need to make the ebook version. So I go back to my original manuscript and I change the file name to say that it's for the ebook and then resave that file with a new file name. And that would be the 720,000 kilobyte big file. I then go through one at a time and I compress each image. When I'm done, I save that file. It's still in the dot doc format, but it reduced from 720,000 kilobytes down to only 23,000 or 23 meg. I then take that file, the dot doc format, and I upload that to Amazon to create the Kindle ebook version. So in summary, this short video explains how to use the compress feature in LibreOffice to dramatically reduce a file size. I hope this tip helps you, helps you if you are a LibreOffice user. Thanks for watching the video and please subscribe. Thank you.